tell all, but most all misunderstand the reality. Before I tell you my dream, and before I outline the reality of the lesson that most do not get, let me tell you some core truth. I am not religious, nor am I an atheist. I do not place myself into a category of false stupid beliefs. Most people ask who God the Creator is, I always say that is two different things. That is usually when they become mad and start to defend the belief that was programmed in their heads to create division, and they blindly defend it without logic or fact, just mere blind foolishness. So let us take one at a time. This is necessary to give you a background, so you understand truth and what the dream really meant. God, or what is called, the Source, the Force, Unconditional Love, Mass Consciousness, call it what you want. It is the same energy that connects us all to each other, in fact it is the same force that connects us to the entire planet, since the Earth is a living, breathing organism. It is also the same force or energy that connects us to nature. Do you want proof? How about this? When you go down a dark alley and you see a dog and you are afraid of that dog, can not that dog sense your fear? In 1992, whales were constantly beaching themselves, and if you remember right this was when the Rodney King riots were going on. Do you know why? First whales follow the Earth's magnetics to migrate, in this case they followed the Earth's magnetics to land where in their minds should have been water. This was because we as humanity have become so disconnected we were messing up their natural GPS. Okay, so who is the creator? That should be so obvious, she is the creator. Woman is the creator. Who has the child? The woman has the child. This was the biggest secret, and that is why women were programmed to be subservient to men. But in actuality, they are equals that should be respected. After all, even if the woman you love is by, it does not matter, unconditional love is unconditional. There are no conditions or restrictions to love. What happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. Since when was a man or woman a prize or piece of property? We have fallen so far from our basics, it is almost ridiculous. So do I mean every woman on earth? No exclamation. Unfortunately due to education dump down, and the subservient programming only 1% of the entire planet population of females are real women. As well, only 1% of the entire population of the Earth's male population are real men. Since most do not want to be alone they settle, and you can see where this goes, drama, drama, drama. The easiest thing to avoid, and they foolishly go right to it. The dream. Now you have the truth, so now you should be able to get the message of my dream. Or maybe not, if you are a real man or a real woman you would understand it. I explained it to my foolish friends that seem to not be able to throw the heck up. Here is my dream. I am sitting at a table on an outside restaurant. We are at the beach, the waiter comes over and hands me a menu, and then leaves. I look at a blonde woman, I cannot see her face. But I know the energy I feel is true. It is not sex, it is not infatuation, it is love, it is very strong. I have a connection and I know without any doubt that she is strong. If I were to be witty and sarcastic she would put her arm around me and smile and give it right back. She is strong and would go toe to toe with me if I deserve it. She is not weak. She would never look at me and say I'm mean, she is confident in herself, her sexuality, and best of all we are together because we want to be, not because we feel we have to be. 
This energy is felt in my dream so intensely it is almost as if I am there because I can feel every bit of what I am telling you in my heart and soul. Now listen to the frustration as I tell a few friends that were discussing their dreams. Listen to how foolish they truly sound. Now I ask you, whose fault is it we have stupid people running around on this planet since males cannot reproduce by themselves? I told my friends my dream, in the hopes they would understand, but immediately for some unknown reason, they all wanted to put a face on the blonde woman in my dream, after all that was important. I mean come on we cannot take the message of the dream can we? We must absolutely figure out the face that was on that faceless blonde in my dream. One said, maybe it was Cindy, no wait, Tammy, the other one knowing that I watch very little TV, he knows I have only watched very few movies like Adventures in Babysitting, The Karate Kid, and as far as television goes I only watch DC Legends, Arrow, Flash, and Supergirl, and nothing else, and I do not let just anyone into my friendship circle so there are only a few. So this Nimrod said, no it has to be Elizabeth True, or maybe Katie Lotz. Still the more quick to drown one said, no it has to be Jessica. As this stupid exchange of nonsense was going on, I found myself looking all over the floor in the hopes of finding a large 2x4 or something with good strong weight to do what every engineer does, when all else fails with fixing anything I wanted to hit their brains hard and see if it started to work. But alas, in Burger King there was nothing I could grab to hit them with, and I don't know what came over me, I did not think of this. Nor did I plan to say this, my vocal cords must have had a muscle passion, because I just blurted out, you all are the dumbest morons I have ever hung out with. They missed the entire point of the dream, the blonde person was not important. This is the reason I could not see her face. If you chase a person for love, attention, and affection things that are to be freely given, then they are not worth having. The reason the blonde had no face was a real life lesson, if you only believe what you see with your eyes, then you are so easily deceived. The point of the lesson was the energy, the connection, what I felt when that person was with me. A real connection is what you are to find not look for it in a specific person. They say with wisdom comes grief, OMFG. They do not know how right they are, when you can look at someone and see that when you talk to them all you get is the deer in the headlights look it might be time to stop hanging out with those people because you have outgrown stupidity. I am not religious, I am not an atheist, I am not a racist, or sexist. I am, however, and anti-stupidist.